really determined to demonstrate that you can farm without chemicals and um, you know a lot of the industrial inputs that we've become reliant on in conventional agriculture. But to do that in this climate, it has been quite a challenge, um, but we're really happy with the progress that we've made. Farmers are actually taking on the role that they really deserve to play, which is so critical in our society. I guess people saw it as moving into a, almost a hobby farm on 650 acres when we'd started out on 18,000 18, acres. So in holistic management, we've looked at breeds um, specifically that suit this climate so that we don't have to support them with anything to deal with parasites and, and any unnatural, I guess, inputs into the system. The intensive grazing with the animals is the key. The more animals we can put in a smaller area for a short period of time and then give that soil rest. And that's where we achieve that with the chooks because we could put the numbers of chooks here in a little area. Um, the pigs, not until we got sort of 80 to 100 pigs in a, in a mob that we actually started making a difference. And now with 200 cattle, we can make a difference on little paddocks. So most of our paddocks are around the two, two to three hectare mark. And we put them in there overnight or for 24 hours and keep rotating them around. And the constant moving, mowing and um, resting. resting of the ground, plus all the other things that come along with the animals being a small area with all that manure. When we selected the enterprises, each of them had a role to play and the pigs are amazing at regenerating soil. The country that they were on was had a really bad infestation of burr. It was higher than the bonnet of the tractor when, when we started out there. Over time, just through that management using the pigs, we did graze the cattle through there as well, but predominantly it was the pig impact that reduced the burr so that without any chemical spray, it's not an issue, put it that way. There's still some burr in the paddock, but nothing like what was there before. So that's just uh, come about because of the improvement in the soil health and the nutrients within the soil, supporting more palatable um, spe plant species and, and pastures. Back in 2008, I walked Dakota and got really sick and then we graduated from RCS, Resource Consulting Services, and a man was giving a talk about biodynamics, uh, Shane Joyce, and there was another man there. Gary McDougall. Gary McDougall. He also gave a talk about the Dawson program and because I was on the verge of chronic fatigue and very sick after um, walking Dakota, it sort of triggered us into something different and that's all come about from RCS and being introduced to out there thinking people basically. It wasn't until we started to delve into biodynamics that we realised that everything is already there. Um, nature provides, it's a bit like a compost extract, so you apply uh, the preparations in water, you mix them in a, using a flow form to energise the water and that can then be applied to any paddock as many times as you like. The rate is almost irrelevant. It stimulates what's already happening in that environment. And the next stage for us, which we've just started to delve into, is the multi-species crops. Um, because as we build the biology in the soil, they provide a food source and an environment that supports the rapid growth of that biology. We can certainly grow crops during winter that are a great feed, so you get that as a, the byproduct. Socially, they're just craving connection with uh, real things, uh, particularly food and farms, and you've, we've seen that as people have, um, you know, got into gardening for the very first time. I guess it's really recognising the important role that farmers play, but it's just so important. You can watch things on TV, you can see stuff on social media, but until you actually immerse yourself, listen to the farmer, and our farmers are our best advocates, and that happens at the farmers markets as well. They get to know that guaranteed a chemical-free grass pasture-raised product, whether it be the eggs or the beef, we sell nearly a thousand dozen eggs a, a week into town and we've been doing that for years. Six now. years, yeah. And the quality is the same due to irrigation, pasture, what's happening in those paddocks. 
And the same with the beef. Every time we sell a beef to a customer, we guarantee it's going to be an eating experience. It'll eat well, but not only that, it's the flavour. And that is what has won us our awards, is a combination of the rare and heritage breeds, but also um, the nutritious pasture that they graze. I, in my research, in my marketing research, had been looking for a group that we could latch onto, um, and there wasn't really anything happening locally until the project started back in 2013. I was on the steering committee for the original um, project, uh, which then became the network. So it's just totally in alignment with our values and what we think is really important, which is building this local food system and a community around our food.